Hi guys, so many have asked for this video. They said, look, you've got a, a power frunk or you've got a power trunk and basically you've shown in the video that you can buy a voice by Siri. You can say to Siri and you'll be able to say things, whatever you like to Siri and she will open up your frunk like this. Hey Siri. Huh? I have parcel. Okay, done. Activated the front. And then you could take your parcel along and take it to the car and put it in. And the same as you can say the same again. Hey Siri. Huh? I have parcel. Okay, done. Activated the front. And then it puts the front back again. And or she'll open up your boot like this. I have shopping. Okay, done. Activated the trunk. And then it'll activate the front. Now you can have it say whatever you like. You can say trunk, frunk, boot, bonnet, anything you like. But I've just made it up as have shopping. So that if I've got a heavy shopping in my hand, I can do that and get there and actually then it'll open for me. And I'm going to show you how that's done and how easy it is for you to set it. And all you're going to need, well, I'm going to tell you everything. So you'll be able to know what you're doing. And if you stay towards the end, I'm going to show you the new apps just been updated again. Another one from Tesla. And it's got a, quite a few good, cool features that have got on it and a few that are coming. And I'll tell you all about that, too. you got to be kidding me. Welcome again to Mel's Back Talking Tesla. My car's a 2019 Model 3, but this video is correct for all models and years of the Tesla, including yours. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe at any point if you find this video useful. Doing that will get you all the latest releases, and I can provide personal help with the features and enhancements if you get stuck. Okay, so what you're going to need to do, you have to purchase them. Now, they're both about £20 each. And I know it's a, a quite a bit of money, but once you've got them, you will get all the added features. And if they add any more on that Tesla add on, this company will add them on for you. So you have all the voice. And you will just get them, download them, and then it will work on your iPhone very easily. And all you then do is rename them. So let's go into it now and have a look how easy it is to do it okay so the first thing you do is you type in shortcuts and then you see a little icon up there you open that icon up and you get a whole list of shortcuts now we're going to create a new one so you press the plus button and it opens this menu up then you press add actions and then you get another menu then you press apps and then what we're going to do now is once you press apps, we're going to search all the way down for Tesla remote. We get to Tesla remote right at the bottom. There it is. Once you select that, it opens up 75 different settings. You can do so many different things with this. And the one we're interested in is the frunk or the trunk. We want the trunk. So we're going to now find the one that says open and close trunk. slide all the way down you can see what you've got there get charging voltages open and frunk status home link lock tesla max heat there we go once you get that we're going to rename it because that once you rename it then siri will recognize what you're asking it for you can leave it the same but it's best to rename it so we're going to rename it now so you type on the top and it gives you that option to rename. I typed in I have shopping and it knows that I've done that one. So if you make them, if you've got that already, it won't recopy it. So I'm going to have to vary that and change it to something different. And so we're going to now write it up again and we'll put in a different one with slightly different words. And we'll see if that works. So here we go. We've created a new shortcut. And we're going to now type in again. So 
once that's done, come out of that. Once it's, it will now show you at the top there, I have some shopping in my hands as the shortcut. Let's test it. Hey Siri. Huh? I have some shopping in my hands. Okay, done. Activated the trunk. Hey Siri. Huh? I have some shopping in my hands. Okay, done. Activated the trunk. Did you know this? We're now going to look at the two facilities that you've got added to the new Tesla app. They've revamped it again and they've given you two more features now. The problem you've had in the past is you have to wait for your notes when you're uploading something from indoors. You have to wait till the car's finished and then you can see what it is. Now you're going to be able to look at your release notes. Where are the release notes? Well, they're right at the bottom right down here so let's slide it all the way down as far as we go and if you look here you can see it right down where the vin number is it says release notes when you hit those they're identical to what you've got on the screen that's great now the second thing they've added is they've added the facility now for you to actually have your cam on the top as well as it on the bottom so you can find it easier and look at your camera screens now and see what's what with that too it's only a matter of them switching it on now but these little cameras up here the ones that are the spy cameras they're going to activate them so they can record on sentry so that you'll be able to see what's been occurring inside your car which you can't do now you can see on the outside of your car but you don't know if someone got in what they could be doing you can see them so that's going to be made active and we're going to get that on an update coming shortly. Apple are going to release Apple Music. We're going to have that on the cars as well, along with Tidal, along with Spotify. Now we're going to have Apple Music. So they're all going to be coming on very shortly now because we're up to the end of the year. And Elon has said, like, how hard can it really be? A holiday update, which would be great. A lot of people are saying, can we have more features on the on the light shows? And if you want a good light show, my good friend Chris, I'll give you a link. If you've got a Tesla and you want a purpose-made light show, they're not expensive. He'll make one for you and I'll give you all the details how you can get, get one of those. He's doing all the holiday ones at the moment. The latest one is Let It Snow. So he's done that by Dean Martin, but he's got many of those. So... I'll leave a link in the description for you so you'll be able to find his detail for you. And watch this video here. This will tell you all about this little feature here. I put it on Velcro strips and it's here. And this little gadget will actually move the seat back and forward for the passenger. So no longer have you got to worry now that the passenger can't sit in the seat and work. You know, if I turn the screen just a little bit round like this way, yeah, we can just about get me in the screen. If we push the back button, so here we go, it's going to go back. If we do the reclining, so we're going to go forward, and now we're going to go back. You can recline it to your heart's content. And I'll show you all about this little product coming to you at the end of this video here. And it'll either be here or depends on YouTube. Sometimes I send it up there. So there might be the link here or there. But whichever it is, that will be it. Anyway, until the next one, I look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing you.